Welcome to Sandbanks Provincial Park. This weekend, we're spending two nights at Sandbanks Provincial Park, so come along with us and see what we get up to. This is the first time we've ever been here for camping, and we're pretty excited to explore the park. Sandbanks is located in Prince Edward County, Ontario, just under three hours east of Toronto and about an hour west of Kingston. The park has over 500 campsites in five campgrounds. Outlet River and Richardson campground sites are mostly non-electric with a few electrical sites. Cedars Campground is fully non-electric, and both Westlake and Woodlands campgrounds are fully electric. This park is famous for their sand dunes and beautiful beaches. Plus, they have some great trails and are close to attractions in Prince Edward County. We arrived through the main gates and headed off to our campground to get water and set up. When we arrived at the water filling station, there were actually two trailers in front of us and both of them were pointed in different directions. But there is only one water filling and one dumping station here at the Woodlands campground area. And so we just had to wait until the Jayco went and then we had to do a little loop around so that we would be on the correct side to fill our water. But it is a threaded hose, so if you do have a hose with you, you could probably just thread your hose and be okay. And right at the main entrance and exit, there are also recycling and garbages, and they're located just on the other side of the water filling and dumping station. We are on our site, site 677 in the Woodlands Campground, and it's actually pretty nice. Really short distance from the pedestal for the electric. And I'm all set up inside. Alan is still working around me out here, getting everything set up. We did put up our little shelter because it is calling for rain again, but so far so good. We're going to finish up here and then go out and explore the park. In the Woodlands campground, there are two showers plus an accessible shower and they also have a laundromat and flush toilets for men and women. The washrooms seem pretty clean and the showers look like they are in need of a refresh, but otherwise it's pretty convenient to have them located right in the campground. We're currently walking on the Woodlands Trail, which is a 3.5 kilometer trail through the Woodlands campground. And not only can you walk on this trail, you can also bike. walking through the Woodlands campground and there are so many great, nice, big private sites, but there are also some open sites too. So depending on your preference and what you'd like, they have something for everyone here. Pro tip, site 625. Yes, that looks like a good one and we wrote that one down. So the toilets here in the Woodland Campground have flush toilets and there is a sink inside. Walking through the 700s in this campground, it looked like they were big rig friendly sites and we did see a lot of big rigs, but we also noticed that the majority of the sites were pretty open. Good morning to a peaceful morning here at Sandbanks. We got up early, now we're gonna make some breakfast and then we're gonna head out to explore the beautiful park. We are just about to start the Dunes Trail, which is a 2.5 kilometer moderate trail. It takes us through the dunes that you can see behind me, which are the largest dunes of this kind in the world. The trail will also take us through a rare wetland habitat where you can see some unique flora and wildlife. It's pretty cool that this boardwalk is made 100% of recycled plastic and each deck board is made from 4,000 plastic bags. There are some really amazing views from up here of the water and you can really see where the drop off is. There's a shallow beach area, but then an immediate drop off into some deep water. And I'm pretty sure my shoes are going to be completely full of sand when I get back down, but it's definitely worth hiking up the dunes for the view if you're able to. Coming down is much easier. I like my zigzag approach. Should have done this to go up. So although you can go out on the dunes, this is a sensitive habitat, so you do need to stay on the trail when you're doing the actual trail. 
With the mild winter we had, the wetlands here are actually pretty dry. However, we did find some wet marshy areas. I think in a normal winter or spring, it would be a little bit more. But we just saw a little snake in the wetlands. So if you're lucky, maybe you will too. Or not, if you'd prefer not to. All right, so a couple good things to note here. They have a barrier free trail and that's the trail that we did and really liked. So if you have any mobility issues, the barrier free trail is thumbs up from us. We tried to do the actual dunes trail, but it is rather strenuous if you have any sort of knee issues or anything like that because you are on uneven sand, which is hard to walk on. So if you wanna do an easier trail, just do the barrier free and you get similar views. There's a small play area down at the Dunes Beach, and there's also a canteen that doesn't look like it's open right now. We just came to Dune Hopper Brewing Company. They are only four minutes away from Sandbank, so that is super convenient for us. We both got flights, but they have tons of beers on tap here. They even offer some snacks, and they just got cornhole delivered as we were arriving, so you can play that game here too. It seems like a very popular place, and it is dog friendly. Well, we've got our flights here. Mine is completely IPA and one sour. And Alan went for a little bit of a variety and they have the friendliest brewery dog here. And I think her name is Bella. Bella. Yep. While we're out, we decided that we should probably come try a winery too, because that's what this area is known for. And we have decided to come to Black Prince Winery, which is pretty close to Sandbanks. And we've been here before and they are known for their wood-fired pizzas. And at the winery, I tried my first freshly shucked oyster. So we actually use it for our mignonette, which is right here. All that is is fresh shallot and cranberry vinegar. Ooh. Uh, my friend Toby just made that. We also do uh, the classic French style is like, or European style is just fresh horseradish and lemon. Uh, for your first one, I'll probably let you try the uh, the, the delicious mignon. How do you chew this, or do you give it two chews? Two chews and swallow. Yep. Two or three. Two or three, and you just like tip just it back. Get it in there. Okay. One, two, three, go. the shell right in that Perfect. and I definitely got the vinegar taste yes. and the like the shallots that are in there yep the oyster didn't it just tasted like, kind of like salt water mm. that's exactly what they're supposed to be so this, these are not supposed to ever have a funk or a fish smell they yeah. should taste and smell like the ocean it tasted like the ocean Big thanks to the Summer Wind Catering Company, who will be on site all summer long, so check them out if you're in the area. Then it was time for us to try some vinegars, and I also did a wine tasting. Well, those were both two amazing stops. We definitely recommend checking them both out if you are in the area. We just stocked up on vinegar. We probably have a lifetime supply now, but it was all so delicious. And the winery also had some really delicious wine, so I got a Merlot to take with me. Overall, 10 out of 10 for both experiences, and you should check it out if you're camping at Sandbanks. Down by the Outlet River Campground, they have a park store with a little restaurant as well. Inside the store, they've got a lot of different items like essentials, camping gear, beach gear, etc. And I went just so that I could get my stickers so that I can add it to my park passport. And now we're going to go check out the beach. Near the Outlet River, the beach area is absolutely beautiful. So if you are looking for a nice beach campground, this might be it for you because the water here is crystal clear and there looks like there is tons of area to spread around and enjoy a beach day. We also found one of the dog beaches in the Outlet River area. If you are looking for a waterfront site, check out the Outlet River A campground. They have some pretty nice waterfront sites 
I think site 35 and 37 looked pretty good. However, they are non-electric, so you will have to sacrifice having electricity if you want to get a nice prime beachfront site. I am just kicking myself for not bringing the kayaks because the outlet river is so calm right now and looks like the perfect spot to go kayaking here. And we also found the boat launch for it over here in I think it's campground A in the outlet river. And anyways, if you're coming here, I would definitely recommend bringing your canoes or kayaks. And if you are coming down here to launch your canoe or kayak, there's a parking lot right across from the boat launch, which is super convenient. Canoes, kayaks, and stand-up paddle boards are available for rent at the Woodyard. Fishing gear can be borrowed for free through the Tackle Share program there as well. The Cedar Sands Trail is a two kilometer trail that separates Lake Ontario from East Lake, and we're gonna go check it out now. So almost immediately upon starting this trail, you're met with a big staircase. The stairs go up to a platform just to go down on the other side. So I don't think we're going to do this trail because Alan's porny probably will not survive. The Lakeshore Beach area is beautiful as well. So like I said earlier, if you're looking for a beach camping trip, this park might be for you. They have quite a few different beaches you can choose from. We tried to check out Richardson's campground, but it looked like it was closed, so it's probably too early in the season. Now we're gonna go head over to the Westlake campground, we think it is, or whatever the West campground is, and check that one out. The Westlake campground has a much nicer dumping and filling station than our campground does. There are two spots separate from the dumping station to fill up with water and the hoses are threaded. And then just behind me here, they have two spots for dumping as well. And this is a new area, it looks like, so it's much better laid out compared to some of the other dumping stations we've seen. There were lots of great pull-through sites in the Westgate campground, which was more open with less trees and foliage. And the Westlake Campground has what looks to be a fairly new comfort station with showers, laundry, and flush toilets for men and women. We're back at our campsite now and we think we did a pretty good job of exploring the park. We didn't see everything, but I don't think it's actually possible to see everything in such a short stay. So if you are coming to this park and you wanna see it all, I'd recommend coming when it's regular season so that things are open and spending a couple more days here than just a short weekend. Well, it's our final morning here at Sandbanks Provincial Park, and that means it's time for me to let you know our overall thoughts. And I'll start with what I liked about this park. And the first thing is the beaches. The beaches here are absolutely amazing. So if you are looking for a beach camping getaway, definitely add Sandbanks to your list. I like the proximity to craft breweries and wineries. It's a very accessible area and a very fun area. The comfort stations were all pretty nice here as well, and I liked that in our campground specifically, instead of vault toilets, they had flush toilets. I liked Westlake Campground because it was very new, very clean, and dump station situation there was incredible. That campground also had really big sites, so if you have a big rig, definitely a big rig friendly area, and some of them were pretty private as well, despite being pull-through spots. Another thing I really liked about this park was the cell signal. No matter where we were in the park, we had great cell signal throughout the entire park, even on the trails. And now for what we didn't like about this park, and I'll kick it off with the first thing that comes to my mind, which is the dump station and the Woodlands Campground. When we arrived, there was a bit of a kerfuffle with trailers going different ways into the dump station or the filling station. So that's the first thing that I don't like about this park. Our campground does have the Woodlands Trail, which is quite convenient, but if we wanted to do any other trail, we basically had to drive because this park is very spread out. That might be something that you actually like about camping though, so if you do like the spread out campgrounds and you have a bike and you want to ride your bike, this might be a good park for you, but if you don't, this does require a lot of driving to get around. Overall, we had a really great time at this park and thought it was pretty nice, especially if you're into beaches. We'll probably come back in the future if I'm ever looking for a beach camping trip because that's what this park really has going for it.
Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing around Sandbanks Provincial Park and that this video can be helpful for you if you're ever planning a camping trip here in the future. This area has so many amenities outside of the park, so whether you're just here camping or want to get out and explore the area, there is a lot to do. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Coming up, I'll be sharing a park tour and review of McGregor Point Provincial Park, so stay tuned for that.